Uh, an official police probe has been launched into the Senate expenses of Mac Harb. The RCMP will be investigating the housing claims of the former Liberal Senator, as well as uh, broadening its look into the books of Mike Duffy and Jessica Humans live in Ottawa with the details on that one. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Pat. So, yes, as you mentioned, the RCMP, we've heard uh, now that they're widening their investigation into the Senate. Um, not only are they going to be treating the Mike Duffy case as a potential breach, um, a, a, sorry, but yeah, a, a potential breach of trust, but they've also included it to, uh, uh, sorry, broadened it to include both Mac Harb, as you mentioned, the former Liberal Senator, as well as Patrick Brazo, uh, a former uh, Conservative uh, Senator. So, um, we know that the whole ordeal to do with Mac Harb, this is again over housing and travel expenses. I mean, it basically looked like, you know, once he'd heard that he could uh, have a, a second home if he was a certain distance from Ottawa, he seemed to kind of buy a cottage in Pembroke and charge this, uh, of course, back to the, the, the taxpayer. So uh, Mac Harb has been ordered to repay more than $230,000 um, in improper expenses uh, dating all the way back to 2005. This is obviously, you know, an ongoing problem with uh, Mac Harb. So um, he's launched uh, a legal challenge. He says he did nothing wrong, uh, issued a statement uh, really trying to uh, relieve him, alleviate himself of any responsibility. Uh, you know, the rules may or may not have been clear, um, this kind of thing. But, uh, you know, we know that, uh, you know, there are media reports out there saying that the RCMP has looked actually for land records to do with uh, Mac Harb. So, uh, um, you know, it looks like his primary residence uh, may or may not have been uh, falsely claimed. So. Um we also know that the uh, the police have collected electoral campaign returns uh, for 12 conservative candidates. So every day, Pat, it seems like more people, uh, particularly conservative uh, caucus members, are being drawn into this investigation. So of these uh, 12 additional conservative candidates whose expenses are now being looked at, uh, Joe Oliver, the natural resources minister, is included in that, uh, Gerald Keddy, John Carmichael, uh, the list goes on. So all of these, uh, these 12 candidates, their expenses are being looked at all in relation uh, to Mike Duffy. So what that connection is specifically uh, is not exactly clear at this point. But it's uh, been a rough go for the Senate. Uh, just yesterday, there was a letter written from uh, a veteran liberal senator asking the Senate ethics officer, Lise Ricard, to now investigate the conduct of another conservative senator. This, of course, is Pierre Boisvenu. Uh, he's, he often speaks with conservative cabinet ministers over law and order issues. She says that his conduct is worthy of investigation. Uh, two factors going on here. First, there was a girlfriend, this uh, significantly younger assistant. Uh, they had some kind of romantic affair uh, while Boisvenu was married. He, uh, he was told by the ethics officer he had to either end the relationship or terminate her employment. He chose not to act for six months before terminating her employment. And on top of that, it's unclear what family member we're talking about specifically, but uh, the Liberal senator says that uh, Pierre Boisvenu is, uh, has been engaging in influence peddling, trying to get family members of his jobs in the Senate. So, uh, you know, there's various probes and investigations going on. Uh, none of it looks especially promising, but uh, one thing the Liberal debt senator did say was that uh, all, of, all, of these, um, all of these ordeals combined are really discrediting what she calls an important democratic institution, and she she hopes that uh, throughout all of these investigations, that institution can regain some of the uh, respect and integrity that it's had in the past. Wow. You wonder how that all plays out in the long run. And the more you uncover, the peel back the onion, the more you find. Yeah, no, I know. It's almost uh, nervous looking into it too much because you're afraid of what you might find. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, so curious to see what the RCMP is going to find looking into uh, the PMO as well as all these all these candidates, it certainly doesn't look good from here. You, you know, you find one cockroach. Yeah. It's never just one, is it? Just good. Thank you. Thank you.